is too small. Well, not very small updates. The video I did yesterday. Have some, some of you who watched my stream might know I was struggling quite a bit with most of the mega bosses. Uh, also, this is a little loud right now. Let's turn it down. Okay. Sorry about that. So. Today I didn't have time to stream, I didn't have a lot of time on the computer in general because we're moving house in about two weeks and packing, stuff like that. And I still use the time on the side, I had a little bit of time to think because except for the Sigil Master that I beat quite a while ago, I was struggling with this boss for a long time. The spider I almost did in two tries yesterday and the third try will definitely be no problem. And the ooze should also not be a problem with the stuff I've discovered now. But since I've spent a lot of time on this guy, I definitely spent most time on this guy. I was mainly looking for stuff that I could do better in this fight because as you've seen in the video yesterday, I was doing a lot of unbending, stacking and stuff like that. And it kind of, at first, I thought it was a minor thing that came to mind to me today is that there's two items that give you the ability to spawn enemies. It is this belt. And it is this bow, but for the bow you have to kill your own phantom. And for the belt you have to wait forever for it to proc if you fight an enemy like this with pretty high defenses. But the cool thing about the belt actually is that this flame bite doesn't despawn, it doesn't have a duration. So once it spawns it will be there forever if you don't kill it. And of course it's a flame blight so it doesn't die to this giant fire AOE attack. Um, so against this boss it's pretty easy to get brilliant. You can just flank the boss with the phantom and get brilliant. But you can't really kill it because whenever it does this fire attack this giant detonation will heal it and it will actually heal it 100%. So the thing about this is, if it gets hurt, it also gets a 10 power level increase and it will heal for 2000 HP. So if you're stationary, what you have to be if you're fighting with a phantom and if you're flanking it, it also might target the phantom and you can't control the phantom. So. If you do this melee, you will have a very hard time denying it the heal. You'd have to kill your own phantom at a perfect time, and I'm just not good at that type of stuff. But then, yeah, today I realized that I can spawn enemies, as I said, with these two items. And while this guy has very high will, and it's not that easy to stack and bending on him. A flame blight has 50 will and it will be constantly crit by the wall of draining. So that is very big because you can pretty much what I showed yesterday, the 6000 healing for 1000 seconds. You can do the same in this fight. And why is that important? It's important because you can just, when you heal this much, when you heal your max HP, this boss attacks really slowly, he attacks once per heal tick. So he cannot one shot you and what you can just do is you can switch to the essence interrupter. The less deflection will not really matter if you have your base HP as healing per 3 seconds because it can't hit you more than once per tick. So you can just switch to the Essence Interrupter and 
when it does a heal thing, you can just run away, run over here. That is what I found what works best if it's still targeting you. Run here, wait till it just shot the flames, then run up here and distract it from the flames so it doesn't run in there. I can show it in a second. But the reason why I just hopped onto my computer and made this video, while I was testing stuff today for stream tomorrow, all of a sudden I was looking through my potions. And I made a giant... I haven't... I completely forgot about this potion. I completely forgot about it. And now... It is kind of hard to apply the potion if you have too much healing, like I have right now. But you can see that my duration is very low. So the reason why that is is because I couldn't apply the potion because you have to be a near death to drink it and my healing was more than my max HP. I think it was like 700 or something and had a big duration as well. So I waited for this to go down to 80 or something. I don't even know. Like this is five seconds after I've used the potion of final stand and it had, has a 9.9 .9 second base duration and this is why I made this video. Look at this guys. This will keep increasing. Right? I cannot die, so this can do as much damage. I don't really care. I already have a lot of healing, but even if I didn't, I cannot die. Right? And this is just gonna keep going. And it's pretty crazy. As I said, it was not easy to actually get to near death and not die at the same time, but I didn't die. I only tried it once this one time and... I think there's a very safe way to do it though. You can. I didn't do it because I was stupid, but what you can just do is you can summon a level 7 phantom next to the boss and disengage Pekvi and the boss will focus the phantom instead. And you have to do this when you don't have a lot of healing. As you can see my healing already went up just from doing this little stuff and the duration went up. Um, but you have to have relatively, this has to be a bit at the start of the fight. But at the same time, you need an add out. You either need the flame blight, which takes quite a long time, so I wouldn't really recommend using the flame blight. I did use the flame blight because I already fought this guy for a while, as you can see at charts of Odiga stacks. But yeah, what I definitely would recommend doing this is at the start of the fight, just shoot your level 4 Phantom with Essence Interrupter until it spawns like a Dargol or an Imp. Stack your walls up, but don't have too much healing from unbending yet. Have like 40-50 healing maybe. Summon a level 7 phantom so it doesn't die to one hit. Run away from the boss and quickly press this. Hot keys this, press this quickly. Get to near death, drink your potion and never lose it again. It's just important that you have something else than the boss to stack your walls of flame on because if you can't stack your walls of flame quickly 9.9 .9 seconds is not a long time so you will lose the potion if you don't have an add because the boss has too high will for this but yeah it's pretty crazy i have to say like this is gonna keep increasing as long as i chose to do this like, I probably don't need to do this forever. I need to do this long enough so the duration of either my unbending or the potion is so long that I can kill the boss. And yeah, I will just switch to the soul, to the essence interrupter bow because it does shock, shock damage. So. I will do a lot of damage to this boss because he has low shock armor rating. And yeah, whenever he does the flame thing, I 
actually gonna show that real quick. Whenever he does the flame thing, I'm just gonna run away. I didn't do it right there because I didn't realize that maybe I should have done it. But yeah, once again, the main reason I did this video is because of two things I realized. A, that against bosses with high defense, you can just summon your own low defense enemy. And then, then I realized that you cannot only stack healing with this, but that you can actually stack the potion of the final stand, which is absolutely insane. It's just for using blood sacrifice, it's very useful. Like, my healing is higher than my base HP, so the boss can't kill me, but I could potentially kill myself with blood sacrifice, or if I pop blood sacrifice right before the boss attacked me, and I took the damage and immediately the boss attacked me, I could die to that. So this is so big, and I just wanted to share it. So yeah, a final look at... As you can see, this went up, this went up, and it will keep going up. Um, as I said, I let the healing go down intentionally, because otherwise I couldn't have applied the potion. But if you look at my dad eye, the duration hasn't really changed, even though I denied myself the walls, just so my healing went down. So you can stack this up in seconds to like, a lot. And yeah, just wanted to share this little crazy thing and wish you a good day, a good night, whatever the time is where you are. See you around.